In this lesson, I'm going to show you the proper fret hand technique. So uh, we're basically just going to talk about how you fret a note with your finger. So you're holding the ukulele. We are supporting the neck with the palm of our hand right here, up here by the nut, basically. And um, you're going to fret with the tips of your finger. So you're going to push down on the fretboard with the very tips of your finger. You don't want to be flat like on the pads of your finger. You want to be on the tips. So you just try with your third finger on the third fret. So it's basically the third space up right there. One, two, three. Kind of arch your finger and push. You want to kind of be perpendicular to the fretboard with your finger at a 90 degree angle almost on the very tips of your finger not underneath your nail but on the tip just like that and for the best tone you want to be kind of right behind the fret although the instrument is so small that it really doesn't matter where on the fret you are as far as toward the back of it or the front but generally speaking right behind the fret so this is the first fret second fret third fret you want to be right behind it so we're just if you just kind of pick that note with your thumb you want a nice clear sound so if you're not pushing down hard enough you'll get that so it just means you got to push down a little harder so anytime you're fretting a note that's how you want it to be right behind the fret pushing down on the tips of your fingers um, you know if you're supporting the neck with your palm here your thumbs gonna be wrapped around the top if you're kinda playing it more like a guitar your thumbs gonna be on the back of the neck like this with your palm out away from the neck either way is acceptable it's gonna depend on what chord you're playing as to what your palm is doing So that's the basic uh, way you fret a note. So <clears throat> just for an exercise, let's try going up one fret at a time with each finger. So we're going to start on the first fret of the A string. That's the first string or the one on the bottom. We're just going to pick with our thumb. We're going to pick, we're going <clears> to <throat> place our index finger, first finger on the first fret of the A string. Pick that. Then we're going to go with our second finger on the second fret of the A string. Pick that. Then our third finger on the third fret of the A string. And then our pinky on the fourth fret. Then we're going to go up to the E string. It's the second string. And do the same thing. Then we're going to go to the C string, same thing, and then the G string. Now we have open notes as well. You won't, you, you won't always be fretting a note. So let's add that in there and go the other way. So we're going to do an open G, then first fret G, then second fret G, then third fret G, then 4th fret G. I'm using all my fingers. That's a good habit to start. You don't want to always neglect using your pinky, even though it may feel awkward. Later down the road, when you get into more complex chord fingerings, you're going to want to be able to use that pinky. Then we go to the next string, our E string. I'm sorry, our C string. Open, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Then to our E string, open, first, second, third, fourth, then our A string, open, first, second, third, fourth. Then you can go backwards. Four, three, two, one, open. 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 
So I'm just doing the same exercise on each string. It's not very musical, it's just really to get your fingers used to fretting notes. So uh, practice that little exercise, and then the uh, next lesson we'll start to put some things together.